We'll end that now. The next step up, obviously, is um, to elope. You can halt your horse from a jog that's upper level. I wouldn't suggest it at this point in the training, but you have to come down and be able to set your horse and get them to, to set down a little bit behind. Um, and so this is the best exercise for tuning your horse into you. It gets the horse thinking that it's not in control anymore. It's time for somebody else to explain what the rules are and how things work and for the horse to be a follower. It's the number one exercise to get them into that. All right, so now if we can get a group in a big circle. We have a large group and I don't have a helper today. What we're going to do is work on a turn on the forehand. A turn on the forehand is where the horse's front feet are planted in the middle and the back end walks around the front end. Okay, obviously we'd like them to do a full circle. In the beginning of this, if you only get a few steps, if your horse isn't used to this, take it, stop, scratch it. Before he takes missteps or wrong steps, and you can feel him getting out of sorts, stop him, scratch him. Let him know that what he did was good, or she. And that way they're getting, again, we've tuned him into us. Now, now they're listening. That attaboy and petting and good deal is very, very important. Um, I, I like Craig Cameron as another uh, clinician. And I like some of the things that he says. And he said that if you watch training, he said those women compliment their horses and love them and pet them and tell them how good they did. And the men go, attaboy, and that's about it. And then turn around and go on to the next thing. Well, it's a wake-up call for the men because they need to do a little more of the lovey-dovey petting on these horses to let them know that they did the right thing. And we have all women in here today, so I guess we don't have a problem. I'm the only one that's off here. But he, he's in tune to these things, Craig is. So right from there, we're going to go into another way. He starts to teach a horse, baby horses, when they're learning to do a turn on the forehand by taking their head, pulling it up one direction into his knee or his thigh, and kicking the inside leg and moving them around. I want everybody to come off the wall, give yourself some room a little bit, and let's just try that right from where you are. Don't